What is going on, everybody? Hello. We are back with the Pound and Slash Marvel yeah. Media Podcast. I'm Dupre. I'm Pound. It's like PNS. There we go. PNS. There you go. You keep that. Um, we've actually got an exciting mm-hmm. uh, episode. Which, you know, it's, it's going to be a good episode. We're, we're, we're going to have some news. Always. Come on. And we're going to talk about episodes 7 through 13. Which I enjoyed. Of I the Fantastic Four World's Greatest Heroes. And this is why this is exciting. The more I watch the show, the more I'm mad there aren't additional seasons. Because yeah. I'm actually thoroughly enjoying uh, our little Fantastic Four adventure. I like how we both looked at the... <laughs> and That's because she's about to do something stupid. Stupid. And there she goes. <laughs> Um, we both make eye contact with the cat. So he's with, got the- <laughs> with that being said, As while you- I go fish a cat out of the sink, hey, Ralph, <laughs> the news is all yours. I guess so, because he's about to leave me. My co-host my is about to leave me, man. Hold up. Look. I got sick. <laughs> go ahead, Ralph. No, no, I am. No, I just... Don't mind me, y'all. You might even laugh right now. Hold up. Let me. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. I'm back now. <laughs> Just like we both looked, it was funny. Anyway, Marvel writer, Marvel writer spits in the face of fans, does not care if the MCU erases characters' heritage. So basically, there's now now, now we're reading it. It means like so basically, I guess they're erasing uh, Moon Knight's character from what he is in the comics. I guess. Okay, as so Mark is son of the ra- son of a rabbi, so I guess in the series he's not going to be that. Right? And that's different. that's fine. Okay, so a lot of when you first told me about this, yeah, I, I had thought to he it. literally spit. I thought in the he face did too. Face. Hey, I heard Tyson. He and spits I was like, Whoa. I was like, well, that sounds about right. Well, um, that's like, Jesus Christ, somebody's about to die and get fired. But murder. but no, he's quote unquote spitting in the face of fans by changing the uh, traditional history of. Right. Moon Knight, and I don't think that's necessarily spitting in the face. It's changing things to match the times. Right. If if to he was a racist based character, right, or there was racism heavily involved, right. in his origin, um, if it's not going with the story that they're trying to tell, it's kind of dumb to continue going with that story. Right. And I guess some fans, and the next part, the next bit of that story is like, I guess some fans are not too happy. Cause it's like, well, he should have his, I guess, r- rabbi. I guess like, that's is that Jew? no? What is that Muslim? That's Muslim, isn't it? yeah. No, rabbi Jewish. Jewish. Cause they're saying like he should have his Jewish heritage, but I guess unless he's gonna take up another heritage, and they're like, well, then well, that wouldn't even be a racist thing. I see. I don't know nothing about Moon Knight. Right. Neither do I. Um, Jew- being Jewish isn't a race thing. It, right. I mean, it is a race. Right. It's a race, but it's not like it's not like you know they're a person of color that are. I, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Um, I don't care either way because I don't know shit about Moon Knight. Neither, neither am I. And basically, he yeah. He and we're not me. even close to Moon Knight being introduced in the comics. Right. So right. Exactly. It'll be a while. It definitely be a while. He said that they're certainly not bound by any origins. All of a sudden, the Jews need to be represented. Moon Knight has to be Jewish. Or we're watching Marvel. The boycott is around the corner. That's basically what he's saying. The mo- it's like with Hawkeye. You like you know once this first episode come out, which we all know is gonna be just one episode now instead of two. Damn it, I wish it was two. But anyway, when you know the first episode, he may not be taking care of his Jewish or he may not be Jew or or he might be Jewish at all. And that's why they're like, Oh, here come the boy. Like he's he's already expecting a boycott to happen from this first episode, which Fuck him. Y'all boycotted Hawkeye. Hawkeye. It was a That's fantastic it's, it's, fucking it's, it's show. Like hey, that. Marvel fans, quit trying to shoehorn and make people do what you want. Enjoy the fucking story. Again, Marvel fans, you're the fucking worst. They are. I've never seen. No, they're, they're not the, the worst. worst. Yeah, I've seen. I mean that, I mean, in, the phrase, that. in a Turner phrase. Because there are some because fans, there are fans. other Eminem fans are terrible. Jesus. Um, Nicki Minaj fans are terrible. Uh, Which by the way, like I said, I don't like Nicki Minaj as a rapper, but as a person, she's cool. I fucks with it. It's just you know. That's that that yeah. That's, that's the one thing. There, but, that, yeah. that is one of uh, mine and Ralph's many arguments. But yeah, um, <laughs> I like old Nicki Minaj. I'm not a fan of uh, the middle stuff that she did. I haven't heard anything new she's done. Right. But her first couple albums, I thought were bangers. Yeah, her. But her her just her as a person overall. Now Brie Larson and Captain Marvel. She got legs. Fucking, bonus, so, she like, got legs like for days though. You said what? Nikki got legs for days. Days, days, for days. For days. <laughs> He's so stupid, dude. But it's like Brie Larson. Like I don't like Captain Marvel or Brie Larson. That's the, that's the ice on the cake. But Captain Marvel is a terrible. Let's call her legs go all the way up, Minaj. <laughs> she can hit my Minaj. <laughs> Just look, look, look. He's like motherfucker. Like anyway, the Minaj is twelve. The Minaj is twelve. 
We so stupid. Anyway, the next bit of news: Marvel actress could be getting the same treatment as Gina Car Carcano, who played in the Man or Mandalorian. Um, and it's uh, Evangeline Evangel Lilly who played in Ant Man the Wasp. She's under fire because. I guess um, she commented on the protest that happened in Canada with the trucks and stuff about the mask and unmask, whatever. So she kind of commented and said she signs with the trucks of, like, you know, whatever. So she put her two, like, you know what L like Lily Wright did? She put her two cents in, and now Kevin Feige says that sh she might be getting canned. Like, they may fire her after the third movie, Ant-Man and the Wasp. She's the one who plays Wasp, right? Yep. Even, okay. yeah. This so, here. Uh, so here's the thing that I want people to understand. We have got to stop holding actors and actresses accountable for stupid things. Right. Stupid things. Whether it's political beliefs right. or beliefs in what people are doing are right or wrong. It is one thing if an actor or an actresses or actresses, if an actor or actress comes out mm -hmm. and says some off the wall racist stupid shit. Right. Martha Stewart. Um Right, ain't that a bitch is <laughs> Okay. Your shit. So like Again, old girl from Black Panther. Mm -hmm. If they're not going to fire her for the shit that she said, right? Lily Wright's still here. Yeah, uh, Evangel, whatever the fuck. Yeah, her Evangel name Lily. Is. Yeah, Evangel Lily should not be getting fired either. And and now that, and that's what I'm reading right now because like she said, and she kind of blasted. But here's the thing: she, I was gonna tell you, she also blasted Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, which I guess it would okay. matter, like it's how it bursts the bane. But now, like, Kevin Feige literally came out and said it's considering ending its professional relationship after the third movie, but not concrete decisions have been made. Like, no concrete decisions have been made, which we, we know that. Duh. We don't know. Like I said, we're, not, we're not in that office in Disney, so we and, don't know. And again, it also depends on what all she said, because I don't, obviously, I don't have the tweet in front of me. I don't have the full breakdown of right. everything that was said or how she, she said. She just said she backs the truck pros, the pros and all this. She, so, yeah. she could back the truckers all they want. And She's obviously against the mask mandates, which is what the whole truck thing is right. going on. And then blasting and half the of you fucking minister. truckers, to be honest are dumbasses anyway <laughs> because they're getting ready to take away the mask mandates within the next week to week and a half. Yeah. But, Sit the fuck yeah. down, shut up, enjoy life. All, all of, yeah, the, the whole world's about to have masks no more. So, all right, okay, so that's happening. I, I think I think everybody just got to the point where we're just like, all right, whoever wants it can die. Like, that's, that's just where we're at. We're done trying to help you jackass. Right, right. I feel like, I feel like that's what they're like. I ain't wearing masks. Okay, then yeah. No, let me stop. Let me stop. I, think, I don't think that, well, I do think that way sometimes because you think like, but I don't try to think that way. <laughs> no, I, I, I just feel like that's where the world's getting. Now, I do not back that ideal. Right, right. Uh, obviously, if definitely still do what you can if you're willing to help try and do anything that you can if you're willing. Um, not that any of it's going to matter, to be fair. Next. All right. Um, Taron Edgington, um, he, you ever seen The Kingsman? No. What about Rocket Man? He portrayed... I did play Rocket. I, I did see Rocket Man. He, it was... It's, I'm just gonna show you, it's that guy here. Okay. They said he has been rumored of uh, previously getting talked interest to play the, I guess, Wolverine in a new X-Men. Daniel Radcliffe or Bust? Fuck all of you. You ain't no Wolverine. Nah. No, I like Terry Edgington. He's okay. cool. I, I and, say and that. because he saw a picture, and I think it was it was one of our co-workers that showed me. He said, he actually looks like he can portray it. Now, <laughs> I, I say that joke. How tall is he? I think he was, I think I think he's about five 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 nine. I think he is. Oh, then we have issues. He needs to be like six inches shorter. <laughs> five nine, I guess. He's five nine. So apparently, I could be Wolverine, y'all. I am five nine. Uh, that's it. Just, you know, just scratch back up what like this, do, bub. Bub. and then you know, just you're, get, instead of like a cigarette, get a cigar. Just put that big ass cigar. What's good? I guarantee you, he won't smoke cigars in the movies. Oh, that's right, it's Disney. Really? They can't let him smoke. I mean, they smoked twenty years ago. No, they smoked the MCU before, and they drank in the MCU before. I know, I know we've drank in the MCU. I don't think they've smoked yet. You got to remember, Let's Disney movies, Disney huh. movies from like twenty years ago, definitely had people smoking. But twenty years ago, cigarettes didn't kill people. I don't know where that changed. Um, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I can't continue this podcast right now because he's, he's on one. He's, he's throwing his cat off some shit. He's <laughs> where did my mountain dew go? I don't know where you're right there. He said, "Yo, he's put that on Twitter." He, no, you probably get banned. Like, what, what you mean by that? Like, I don't know what happened. Well, I don't know when, when the cigarettes become a thing. Oh my god, that's fucked up, bro. 
Like, they, 20 years ago, I don't know, cigarettes killed people. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> they Guys, killed a lot science, of people. Science is going to As he's way. smoking some shit. I don't care. I don't care. I'm, we're all going to die. Um, It's part of life. <laughs> right. YOLO. Hey, that's what that's why Drake made that YOLO! song. YOLO! Right. That's why Drake made that song. You only live once. <laughs> oh, shit. I got to get back to this one for the news here. He, Next, did he tweet that? No, 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 he just tweeted. Hey, yo, I don't know. He, hey, he gonna rant. I don't know where this cigarette shit came from. But please leave my cigarettes alone, like motherfucker. Oh shit. Okay, now I think this is. Ooh, we got two, two last bit of news. Breaking news: Actress Lily Ross, who 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 played in This Is Us, is joined the cast of Iron Heart. So they're bringing more. Okay, cool. Diversity people in it. Who the fuck is she gonna play? It's not Riri Wilson. I don't care. She's <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> and then I think last bit of news is that we got actor Cody Cody Smith's uh, McPhee. He played Nightcrawler in the uh, X Men Apocalypse. He said that it's possible that he can be coming with the role of Patrick Stewart as well to also be in the Multiverse of Madness. So it's like, you know, I hope not. There's no reason to have Nightcrawler in there. Yeah, he said, I just believe in the MCU so much, and I hope to be a part of the family one day. So, more like he probably isn't. How about, but... how about you just take on a new role? Why, why you gotta be Nightcrawler again? Oh, I forgot to turn those off. <laughs> Whoever subbed, thank you. Not but... that you watch this channel. Oh, and Morbius' final trailer is officially set to release this Monday. Watch the new feature featuring the fresh footage from the movie. Yeah. Fresh footage, all five seconds of it. The rest of it's just gonna be reused. I would, you know, I can't I'll, wait to watch I would that. like the five of us. I'll though. tell you what, I cannot wait to watch that movie illegally. Okay. <laughs> First of all, the cat cigarettes. I'm going home now. <laughs> the cat cigarettes. Look, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm done spending money on Sonyverse shit. <laughs> I like I hit, and he says this so calmly. I can't wait to start watching this movie illegally. Like. Wait, what? Wait, I had a buffer moment when he said that. I was like, "Don't you be illegal?" Nah, really. I, I do not condone the use of any outside sources to watch movies that somebody has recorded in a movie theater overseas. Um, and and if you do, all five or six of you guys who watch us or whoever the fuck watches, are you? I would, I would just put a comment. Are you guys really seriously want to hear this this Morbius shit? Because I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't. Even care. if they don't, they're going to. It's a new movie. We're gonna cover it. Oh for God, because it's. Fucking Mar and watch this. Hey, this shit gonna be like Venom. It's like it's gonna tie an MCU. I will shoot that theater down. <laughs> like, like it. That, that oh, is something to not joke about. Oh, oh man, I fucked up. Uh. Um, he's gonna edit that or just bleep it out. Go I ahead. can't. You can't. No. Why? Don't say stupid shit. Stop being you sometimes. <sighs> okay. No, well, I'm <laughs> he's like, I'm done. I'm All out. Right. Goodbye, guys. He's <laughs> like, did he just get up? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what the coworker said at the job. Stop being you. I'm like, I I have I know I have issues. What's your excuse? <laughs> I'm gonna get the FBI to come to my house right. and tell them right where Ralph lives. <laughs> you go six nine that shit. This keys. I don't even know how he even got my. <laughs> you know, like, I don't even like, know dude, I was how trying, he got my key. I was trying to record a podcast. I don't know who he is. He came in. He sat down in front of me. And we just started talking about Marvel. Uh, I, I don't he's even still know, a cool dude. He I don't even know how key. he knew to do it. All right, he stole he stole my key. I'm like, damn, <laughs> he stole your key, your house key. Like, oh yeah, the house key. He stole. He just he just stole that bitch. He took my cat. Like, I'm like god damn. <laughs> he brought it back though, of course. He's the nice guy, but right. that's the last bit of news. <laughs> I ain't trying to watch Morbius, bro. I really don't want to see that shit. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god! I'm I, honestly the thing I'm most looking forward to is I'm hoping this is a redemption role for, um, uh, uh, Jay Leto, Jared Leto, Jared Leto. Say Jay Leto. I, I I still want to see the Ayer cut of yeah, I, I would like to see the it. original Suicide Squad. He had some he had some uh, roles, uh, but it was cut out because <laughs> Warner Bros. got involved in the shit. So, all right, but um, Isn't that's it. Grab? Motherfucker. What? I'm going to have to do this by hand. All right. I didn't grab my mouse. Usually I have my mouse sitting here next to me. And Why? I can just scroll you through. Just click, click. <laughs> okay. So we're, we're still talking about Fantastic Four, World's Greatest Heroes. Um, which I'm liking it so far. Which, Damn. Which again came out 2006. Mm -hmm. Fuck off. <laughs> Goddamn birds, dude. Um, 
And again, this was the first time. Uh, let me tell you guys how my week went. First off, before we get into this. Oh God, Monday. Monday. I start watching this show. Super excited to get back into it. Wow. I was stoked. I was like, I've enjoyed where it's gone so far. Mm-hmm. I made it through two and a half episodes before the internet at work cut out on me. It did cut out. That it was did. Weird. So I was like, well, I'll wait for it to come back up and I'll continue watching it. And so, so I sit there and I wait and I wait and I wait. And the internet does not come back up until it's time for me to do uh, this thing I have to do every night at 1030 where I do scheduling for another location. I knock that out. As soon as I knock that out, they start pumping trucks out. I don't have time. Yeah, because they are, our job like that at the at the end. They they'll have us sit there literally for four hours, and then at the last four hours, it's like then right. we go do work. It's and, like, what? And here's what I want people to understand. <laughs> On Monday, I usually get through watching all the episodes in the yep. TV show, and I usually get through like two or three comics. And I mean, week. even like the new shit, he'll sometimes get through all. But okay, you beat me to it. Like shit. All right. And. I'll get through all of that. The next day, I'll finish reading the comics. I'll start working on the comic aid for the podcast, and then I'll knock out the the thumbnails pretty quickly. Um, So what happens is I don't get to finish everything that I do Monday. It completely deflated me for the rest of the week. Um, Yeah, you was like, Tuesday done. Tuesday and Wednesday, I didn't do shit for the podcast. I was just like, man, I'm not feeling it. Because he had a whole conversation with me. I said, oh my God, this man is like a Debbie Downer. Goddamn, bro. <laughs> and I was also going through some issues with my actual main channel. Right. Um, just right. mentally, which is some shit I should See, never... See, he vents to me. <laughs> right. Um, but I end, up, I, I end up finally on Thursday. Right. I finished watching at least the show. Because in my mind, I'm like, look, if I at least finish the show. Right. Um... We can at least record the show podcast. If we have to hold off the comic podcast for a week, I'm fine with that. I just at least want to make sure we get one show out at, at minimum a week. Which is weird. I guess because it, it was Strange Tales, I was like, bro, I finished all these comics. I was ready to go. Um, <laughs> I didn't even send him the comics until Wednesday. But I, it's funny. I just remember the list. Or I remember what you had what you had out there. And I and I, and I just remember, oh, I got that. And then Fantastic Four and, and all that. So I was so mem- photo memory. That's we didn't all. have Fantastic Four. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So I don't never know what the fuck I'm talking about. I just show <laughs> up, bitch. What are you talking about? I told you. I'm just a random black dude who just sat the fuck down. <laughs> so with this kid, just like... Did you, you have a key to this shit? Like, yeah, don't worry about me. Hello. <laughs> Big black guy here. How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? Um, so, Saw, dude. Thursday, like I said, I finally finished watching the few, last few episodes, get the outline done, and I'm like, cool. Um, I go ahead. I, I haven't even made the thumbnails for this shit yet. No, you have not. And I think um, <laughs> I'm going to do that after I'm done recording here while I'm uploading everything. <laughs> so, I, I, I don't, like, like I said, Friday finally comes around, mm-hmm. or, or Thursday night, or I get Thursday. home. Thursday. I, I, I get home after work, mm-hmm. and I sit in bed, and I'm like, I'll at least read the first couple comics. So I read the first two comics Thursday. Um, I do the outline for mm-hmm. the stuff, uh, for, for those two comics, and then I get in Friday. And I think that, like, like I'm actually motivated Friday. I'm like, yeah. all right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... You're like in a happy mood. Knock out all of my stuff. Mm-hmm. I am going to read... These last four comics, knock that shit out, try and get the thumbnails done. Um, but it actually ended up being a pretty busy day. It was, yeah, it was busy Friday. I'm trying to think, um, yeah. And I did not get to any of the comics. I, I, I started reading and I got through half of the third comic. Did you say you said three more comics? No. Because I had three and a half yeah, comics three and a half comics ago. Yeah, so I said, well, I was like, what? And then I finally, last night when I got home, I went ahead and read all the comics, put together the outline. There's got, not going to be an aid, and I'm thinking about completely canceling the aid period for now because not enough people watch for me to care to right. take the time to do all that. Right. Um, y'all just going to have to know what the fuck the characters look like. Uh, Google them. No, just... Yeah, Google them. Google them, bitch. Uh, so... <laughs> get, get us in that picture in picture and start Googling pictures. Right, right. Um, <laughs> Reed Richards. There you go. But nah, you so... I'm glad that I finally got my shit together and got everything done, which I knew I would. And I was trying to encourage um, him, like, bro, you got this? He's like, yo, fuck you, Ralph. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and die. But, uh, <laughs> to a corner. I'm that doesn't corner. take away the excitement that I specifically had for this show. No, yeah, no, overall. I, so again, good. this has been a good show, and it continues to stay good. Like, I'm actually, again, mad people did not watch this, but again, I also understand why people didn't watch it, because, again, no one gave a fuck about Fantastic Four in 2006. No. Uh, um... 
And honestly, again, I would have dreaded getting into the show if it weren't for the fact that we read the Fantastic Four. Right, that's what I said. Like, like, like the Wizard Man. I'm like, yo, this is some cool shit. Like, like they dive into the real lore of Fantastic Four. I mean, not really the real lore, but it's like you know, with the villains, of course, too. So I, I like that. That's, that's a plus for me. All right, so we're picking up with episode seven. Yeah, we are. Episode's called Zoned Out. Zoned Out. Johnny brings a girl to Reed's lab to pretend to be smart to impress her. Is that that chick? Is that the chick he was in Stranger Tales with? I'm just kidding. No, no, no. It's not Doris. No, no I, I was like, is that <laughs> like, like a new version um, of Doris? <laughs> she plays with the power gauntlet, the one from a few episodes ago, and opens a portal to the negative zone she and is pulled in. Sucked. And I was so happy. I was like, that's useless. what? And then roll credits. Yep. We ain't, we ain't saving right. it. Fuck her. Right, right. Because you should have been fucking around with it in the first place. What you doing? Right. <laughs> By the way, general rule of thumb, guys. Um, if you're visiting a friend's house, a boyfriend's house, a girlfriend's house for the very first time, don't touch shit. <laughs> like a uh, Men in Black where he touches. <laughs> Damn. Right. <laughs> like, like, give it some time. Like, like, Ralph over here looking all heavenly in the fucking camera. <laughs> so, like half your face was out of frame there. <laughs> all right. Uh, so Johnny jumps in after her to help her, and a bug comes out. What the fuck? Where the fuck are you? Right here. <laughs> this is great. I love this. I love this podcast. What are you doing? This is this is like this is the only place you go get the real raw shit that we do here. <laughs> She's like smelling um, my shoe. It smells like butt, but you keep smelling it. <laughs> all right. So, we find out that this bug eats energy, mm -hmm. and Sue is currently at a um, Baxter Building Association meeting with mm -hmm. all of her annoying-ass neighbors, right. um, waiting on Reed to get there. However, Reed's talking to her on the phone as he's walking through their lab, or walking through the hallways of their uh, condo, whatever it is, um, and Reed stumbles upon a shell of a bug. So, this bug is shedding. Right. Um, thing finds an actual bug, and shit starts to go nuts. Yeah, I think I should, yeah. Uh, Meanwhile, we also get Johnny and his date running through the negative zone from these bugs that eat his fire. Uh, the strange tales all over. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Reed and Thing realize that there are actually a ton of bugs, and they have to find the mom. Um, Thing does find the mom, and she is goddamn huge. No, I'm like, yeah. Like, almost like two-story house. Not that big. Hey, she's going through your stuff. Do you have anything in there that you want? No. Are you sure? Pizza? Nothing like that? No, it's all refrigerator. Okay. Yeah. That's why she's looking. And she, 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 it's no, there's nothing there. <laughs> That's great. All right. So Sue gets progressively aggravated as bugs start to invade their meeting, and she eventually goes up with bubbles of bugs to find So she's basically taking her force field and trapping all these bugs in little force fields. Which that's not um, bad. She's like trying to stop. She really because that's like how they're, they're getting in. Like their goddamn Pokemon. Pokemon. Ah, ah, ah. She's throwing them, but she still get it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Good shit, bro. So she does find Reed, and the now the new plan is to open the portal and have Thing lead the mom to the portal because they're attracted to the energy. Right. So he turns off all the all the lights and stuff in the building. They knock out all the energy except for the pack on things back. Right. So they eventually get up. Uh, they eventually get up into the lab where the portal is. Um, except all the bugs jump into the portal, the small ones, the babies. Right. But mom starts to go for the one computer that's still on. Which I I was like, I was like, Jesus, bro. Uh, who, who? So this boy has to worry. Gotta turn off everything. Thing, finally being productive, mm -hmm. grabs her, corrals her, starts to carry her over to the portal. Right. When all of a sudden, Sue finally puts as much of a force field as she can around the mom, and then Thing tosses her into the portal. Now, once the, once the monster goes into the portal, and as it's starting to close, Johnny and his date jump back through. Right. Um, he thanks Reed for saving them. His date is not impressed because of how much of a whiny bitch Johnny's being. What? Um, Get and blasted. We actually end the episode, though, with the neighbor, one of the neighbors, it's the old lady, um, picks the milk up off the floor that she was feeding to her cat, which, by the way, don't feed your cat's milk. It's not good for him. Yeah, no, it's not. Um, and she puts it in the fridge, and as she closes the door, there's actually a bug eating on the inside of the fridge that has still back, that stayed yeah, back. Stayed back. So. Well, we already knew eventually, made it, now, again, majority of them, though. One of what is going to be my complaints until something comes up from them from these episodes is from here on, it seems like every episode ends with something that could, that could become something later. Right. Which... And until those things start to materialize and actually start to happen, 
I don't know because it feels like like maybe this bug is going to be something that may come back in season two. Yeah. And with there no being no season two, I it's, don't know. It's yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it was still a decent episode. Though. I gave it a seven. I gave it. I gave it. I think I said eight or nine. I think I eight. I give it eight. I, um, watch it. I, I usually watch my shit too. I still thoroughly still enjoyed it. I'm gonna go fish the cat out of the sink. Ralph, entertain our people. Yeah, hello. I, this is Ralph. This is the Ralph podcast. This is the Ralph podcast. Uh, uh, Nick decided to say fuck you guys. I did uh, not. Uh, I chased the cat out. Yeah, the sink. Uh, Nick's back now. He kind of he left for a minute. He left the door. On. Uh, you're back. Hello. Hi. Hi. It's to entertain the people. I say, oh, you want me to entertain people? I'm going to say, Nick said, you guys are weird. Hello. I did not. All right. Uh, uh, episode eight is called Demolition. I like that. These, these titles are kind of interesting, though, too. Right. Demolition. All right. So the Fantastic Four are having a family time, and Johnny and Thing get into a fight. Sue gets mad, separates yeah, everyone. Weird. When a mole creature comes from out of the ground. Hey! <laughs> and it's a huge mole creature. This is not like yeah. a standard... No, this motherfucker no, is, it was like is a monster. Man. Yeah, it's a monster. I like that concept. Like, okay, um, it's mole man, but bigger. After a very brief skirmish, the monster heads towards the Baxter buildings, and our heroes follow for a round two. Right. Reed goes into his lab during the fight, grabs a stasis gun, brings it back out, freezes the monster in place, and our heroes go to investigate the hole. They find a diamond cavern and are then attacked by more mole creatures, but these ones seem to be specifically designed to stop the Fantastic Four. Um, they all end up getting captured, and we find out that this is Mole Man's doing. Of course. What else? We also find out that Mole Man hid one of the giant monster's eggs in the Baxter building, and that is why she was out there looking for things. So basically, the Mole, mole Man's main idea and plot is get Mom out of the cave, right. when all the eggs crack... Um, they will see Mole Man imprint on him and think that he's their mom, and he'll be able to control them and have them do his bidding. Which well, that was that a different concept than just saying like, "Oh, he was just an, an ugly person, and he just wants to unleash monsters on the earth." I guess. No, he's still just an ugly person that wants to unleash monsters. He just has to get them. Well, first. I mean, they're like, they're like, like they're bull creatures now. Which, damn, I would prefer the monster. But I guess it's, I don't know it's something different. I like, I would prefer like you know, oh, get the, all the monsters. Fuck it, get like fuck it, man. <laughs> Go all out with this shit. Go out. So Sue turns invisible, which of makes the, but she leaves a force field of herself behind, which makes the thing the little creatures think that they're still holding on to her. Right. Um, that's and, something. I don't think we read that in the comics yet. Has she done that yet? Where, like, she's able to leave, like, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That's a new trick. That's, that's like a human torch's a uh, flame, you know, projector in a right. way. So that that's pretty cool. Um, and then she also kind of splits a little bit of Reed's that's a shell that's holding him in place. Right. Um, he's not going to get out yet. They're waiting. Um, and she she runs off. So she finds, she finds the egg in the garage. Mm. And the egg hatches uh, as the giant monster stasis ends. Right. Um, Sue thinks quick enough to turn invisible so that the monster doesn't, the, the baby monster doesn't imprint on her. Mm. She picks him up, puts him in the car, and they drive out. Or, no, that's not what happens yet. Um, no, uh, there's something else. No, okay. Oh, yeah, that is what happens. The baby sees mom. Oh, they see mom. So it does imprint on, on mom. Right, okay. Um, so then Sue grabs him, puts him in the car, takes off, and heads towards the big hole. Right. Uh, meanwhile, the others are fending off the mole creatures long enough for Sue to get the egg and monster down below. Mm-hmm. Um, Johnny has also spent this entire episode obsessed with this car that Sue is now destroying, by the way. Um, Johnny became useless. Well, that's nothing new. Um, <laughs> that's at least I got that new. right. Right. And, then, right. It's, and every time I see Johnny doing shit, it's strange tales all over again. I don't give a damn if he was in negative zone. It's strange tales all over again. Right. As, as Mole Man tries to get the babies to imprint on him, Sue turns him invisible so that they yep. don't see him. And they see their mom. At which point, um, they actually save Mole Man because Mole Man's about to die. Uh, but the monster ends up smashing against the cavern, which makes a wall of rock between her, the baby, well, her, the babies, and then everyone else. She just wants to be left alone with her kids. Which, that's fine. Um, I mean, yeah. And then the Fantastic Four put Mole Man in the vault, and that's the end of the episode. Or that's where they're going to put Mole Man in the vault. Right. Uh, they don't actually show him. They, they don't actually show putting him in the vault, but that's where he's going. Right, I was saying, yeah, I didn't think they did. Yeah, um, I actually thoroughly enjoyed this episode. Thought it was extremely yeah, creative. I gave was, it an eight. Yeah, that was fun. Gave it an eight too. That was fun. That was fun. See, we got two things we got right here. Uh, pretty decent episode. 
Yeah. Episode nine, which by the way we're covering seven episodes today. For those of you that don't know. Right. We want six. This one is new. Let's do it. Seven episodes this week. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. Next is the the wizard. Hold on, what? Yeah. Yeah, because we didn't remember we did six um, last week. We did six last week. We're doing seven this, this week. We'll do time. six next week and then seven the last right, week. Right, because we're trying to, like, this should kind of get us somewhere. I'm not I'm not saying at the ballpark of of Moon, Moon Knight, Knight, but, but at somewhere we can at least draw another thing in case if it is something to do. So, yeah. Right. Cool. So, episode nine is called Puppet Master. This was, like, Ralph's Puppet favorite Master. episode. Hell yeah. Hey, this and is where we're going to do it for real. <laughs> I thought it was one of the worst. Actually, I'm kidding. I actually rated it higher than what he thinks I did. Right. I, was say, I think it, yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. I would have rated it higher, but there are some things that do bother me. With yeah, this whatever. It's like personal things. <laughs> um, a sculptor with a terrible voice actor is mad about having to dig up his own clay for art and not being recognized for his talents. That's where one of my other complaints come in. They changed his whole origin story because if you remember in the comics, he was in jail, yeah. and as he was escaping, he ran across the clay. But in this one... I mean, that didn't really bother me that much. I mean, you just took the jail part out. I mean, you still had the clayness there. But, I, I mean, I guess that's... Yeah, okay. But, so a meteor crashes, turns the clay blue. Right. Um, blue. Fantastic Four come in to investigate, and they take it home with them. However, the sculptor snuck some of it home himself and what? makes a Mr. Fantastic puppet that as he moves it, the real Mr. Fantastic when moves move, on camera. Move just like that. And that's when he realizes what he is now able to do. Right. He's like, I can do this. <laughs> um, Which, that's one of the things that Puppet Masters did in the first, in the first issue. Or when we first saw him, he was able to move the test floor or anybody for that matter. Right. So, Reed, nailed that one. Reed runs tests on himself. Right. Johnny is watching a kid actor who's goddamn annoying. Way to go, Johnny. Just being fucking useless as, as, as always. Thank you, Johnny. Right. When Ben, mid sentence, turns around, walks off, and leaves. Mm -hmm. um, things then starts to destroy things in the city. Uh, Thing is then sent to kidnap an artist. A photographer is also kidnapped, which the Fantastic Four are watching as it's happening on TV. Alicia, Alicia tells them that she knows them as people that she met through her stepfather, and they were awarded... And I like that nail part, too. I like that. They were awarded last night. That the stepfather. I thought maybe they were going to change this I, a little bit. I like that he's still their step, her stepfather. Her stepfather. Right. I'm mad that they met her before running into their stepfather. Again, they changed just enough from the comics to irritate the fuck out of me. Not yes. That irritated you? Huh. Yes. I thought. I mean, I get it. It was like a little switch, and really, it was just I, for me. It was just enough that it's like, okay, I get it where it was coming. Where it could get irritating, but for me, I was like, okay, we gotta remember this is like I said, this is like their cartoon that they're trying to run with. So I'm like, okay, where are we going with this? And and, and it put it on a good note. I, I didn't know where they were going at first. I was like, I was gonna really give it a low, but then I was like, okay, we're right. we're, we're doing something with this thing. We're doing something with it. Okay. <laughs> right. Um. So. So, upon trying to save the third award winner, Thing is already there kidnapping them. Thing demolishes a building. Of course. And the kid with Johnny is now starting to freak out. Thing shows up, takes Alicia. Um, she wakes up to being with her stepdad and Ben. Of course. And the other award winners. When her dad explains things, the Fantastic Four show up. He takes over Torch. And that was another thing I don't like. Apparently, he also has mental control over people with these puppets, which I don't like. You're supposed to have to, like, yeah, move them around. Yeah, forcibly. And think, he's think, able to control them with his mind. I think they were trying to like, update it. Eh. For me, I think they were just trying to update it with the 2000s time compared to, like, which they didn't have to do too much to it. They could have just said, well, you know, this is some weird voodoo type whatever the fuck. So. Right. Um, so he takes over the Fantastic Forts and we, the Fantastic, or the, the Human Torch. And we kind of have a little Fantastic Four 2v2 going on. Oh, man. It's, uh... Thing and thing Ben, or I said Thing and Ben, that's the same person. Uh, it was Thing and Torch thing versus Torch. Sue and Reed. Well, you know who won that game? <laughs> uh, Sue and Reed, actually. So, uh, no, I, that's all you say. Hold on, let's go. Let's go. You, <laughs> I guess, like, Al you're working with, this is Human Torch. Come on, bro. Go. Alicia ends up destroying Thing's statue. Of course. And, which wakes him up out of it, and his Human Torch is throwing a fireball at Thing. Thing moves, and it destroys his own statue that was made of him, which cures his mental hold. Um, they end up freeing the captives. Uh, the kid decides to, at, at the very end, um, Thing almost beats the shit out of her stepdad, but she, but at least she's like, yo, yo, look, we're all okay. If you do this, you're no better than he is. Just don't worry about it. I'm like, can I just throw him out the window? Can I? That's another problem. I wanted to see him fall out the window. Look, that is right, a I very wish he said... puppet master thing to do. Right. I was just like, okay, I'm just going to let gravity take him. They're like, oh, shit. He right. threw his ass. Oh, shit. He threw him. He threw him. Bye-bye. Um, 
And then at the end of the episode, the kid decides to go with having... A, so the whole reason Torch was watching this kid is because Torch wanted to be... This kid's a child actor. Right, child actor. And he wanted to be an extra in the t- child actor show. And the kid decides to go with Ben instead of Torch. And Torch was like, I'm fucking and pissed. And Torch was kind of irritated about irritated. it. Irritated. Yeah, he's and then, pissed off. And then we see Puppet Master in jail. Yep. And he takes off his glasses, pulls out the, the, the actual lenses... Mm-hmm. And the frame was actually made out of the putty of that course. he uses to control people. Which, why the fuck nobody... <laughs> and again... <laughs> That's my only gripe. Why the fuck nobody didn't check that shit? I mean, I get the glass, but I'm like, y'all didn't know if this shit was like maybe clay material? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> right. I um, expect nothing here. But yeah, I was a bit irritated with... Again, until it comes to something. They, they use the puppet master, he's in jail, and then it ends with them setting up a way here. for him to get out. Right. So, well, you know, you, and well, at least in the episodes that we watched this week, he doesn't come back. Nice. So, so, yeah, yeah, that's the last time we see him. At least for now. What did you, what did you give? I gave it an eight. You gave it eight. I gave it a nine. I thought it was still a decent episode. Oof. I feel like they just changed too much. Okay. If they had just changed one, maybe two things, cool. But they were about okay. But they like changed so much that I'm like, this isn't even really the puppet master anymore. It he's, is, he's but a it is mental. He's a goddamn mental case. If he if he if he had mental telekinesis, and, he could just blast himself out of prison. And I wasn't a fr- I wasn't a fan of them turning him into a whiny bitch. Yeah, he did. Whine. He was he never really bitch. that. Like yeah. he escaped prison. He was brave enough and thoughtful enough to be like, "Yo, I'm getting the fuck up out of here." Right. And then he happened to run into Clay on his way out that he realized was able to be used to do what he needed to do. Right. And in this one, he's just like. I'm not recognized for the right. things that I do. Right. Nobody right. appreciates Nobody my art. Instead, you're so going to give these worthless motherfuckers a uh, <laughs> bitch. Shut up. Right. right. I think you want to be recognized? Do better art. <laughs> That's why he said, at least, hey, he was bold. He said, no, nah, recognize. I'm just going to take the fucking fantastic four. Oh, you better recognize. recognize. <laughs> Put some respect on my name. Respect. <laughs> Are we done? Are we finished? Put some respect. Whose wrestling it. theme music started off as that? Oh, you, it was uh, D'Lo Brown. D'Lo Brown. Let like me see D'Lo Brown. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> he had one of my favorite flo- frog splashes in the game. He was good at it. He was. <laughs> All right, we have fun here. <laughs> Episode. He's been on once I walked into the door, though, so this is not new. He, he's been on. He probably, what, you got candy for you? <laughs> no, he, he can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, episode ten was called Imperious Rex, uh, which, by the way, my favorite episode so far. Yeah, I like this one. This was okay for and me. And this is what cr- cracks me up too. By the way, I'm so tired of seeing Namor in the comics. Mm-hmm. But every time he shows up, it's almost always the best of something because of yeah. his mentality that brings. I'm just tired of seeing him. Right. And now, not to the extent that I'm tired of seeing Mordo, but um, <laughs> is every time Mordo show up, you know what this girl be? Damn it. Right. <laughs> Like, God damn, bro. Uh, so I take it L now, win one. This would have had a 10 out of 10 for me. Really? Okay. I, I, I'm going to tell you now. I gave it a 9. Okay. I thought it was a great fucking episode. It would have got a 10 for me if he wouldn't have said Imperious Rex like 15 times in the fucking episode. Namor, shut the fuck up. That's a personal thing. <laughs> yeah, and I personally rated it a 9. This, ladies and gentlemen... He got personal vendetta towards some of these shows sometimes. I mean, he likes them. No, but- dude, I hate dumbass chants. Again, again, do you know how much better I would have rated Halloween Kills if they would not have said Evil Dies Tonight 10 million times in that dumbass fucking movie? We're going to go back to this shitty fucking... I'm actually back that up. Fuck that movie. I would have at least given it a seven. <laughs> I would have given it a... What I, I think I gave it a four. I said, I gave it a five. I gave it a four. Evil, you, you did tonight. Evil dies tonight. It dies tonight. <laughs> I'm like, bruh. Like, y'all My will mean? to watch this movie dies tonight. <laughs> right. You assholes. I'm Anyways. Not, I'm not even going to watch the third one. I'm, I'm, now, no. he does not say Imperious Rex in this episode near as much as they said Evil dies tonight. <laughs> but fuck, it was close. It was, yeah, it was close. And every time he said it, I was like, oh, this is a Halloween Kills 2.0. Or I guess the first time Halloween Kills first since it's like, this is their bait, or this is the father of it. So this is what started it. Right. Imperious Rex, Imperious Rex. Like, what the fuck, bro? All right, so a tugboat is pulling an ocean liner when a giant horn sounds and a monster attacks. Um, Namor flies the boat out of the water, throws it into the dock. Namor bans humanity from the ocean. Sue tries to reason with Namor, 
when Johnny starts to run his fucking mouth because course, Johnny Strange. is the reason anything bad ever happens. Oh yeah, Strange tells all over again. Right. It's like, I'm about to run my mouth on um, this motherfucker. Reed is, however, also sitting back in the lab studying how this is happening all over Earth. He still has no clue Namor is even there. He just sees that all these monsters right. are attacking ships all right. over the Earth. Which that's Reed, that's Reed Richards. Like he like he don't know who that person is. He's just trying to figure out what the hell is happening. Right. Um, and then the UN calls for the Fantastic Four's aid. Meanwhile, Torch and Namor are fighting. And uh, Sue is, is trying. He gonna, to, <laughs> is and, he going to learn how to do water fire again? No. <laughs> so Sue is telling them that they need to stop. <sighs> Namor is impressed with their power and warns them that and warns them one more time: do not enter the ocean as he goes back in. Uh, Sue takes Johnny underwater because fuck your rules. Uh, Be careful, Sue. At he which might point, catch on fire. <laughs> Reed, Reed and Thing show up just a little too late. Of course. Sue and Johnny are then captured by the Atlanteans. Again, Johnny is having a mental breakdown, by the way, this entire episode. Man, he's been having a mental he's breakdown a, since episode six right now when his he's, car, he's, car broke down. He's apparently hydrophobic. Damn it. Um, this ain't Stranger Tales. This is actually... I was so mad. Hey, yo. I, th- I think... I, te- I always tell him I'm going to tell him. I, I hate go, the water. Bro, I was really texting him like, yo, Nick... He is not turning on fire. I was going to wake your ass up. Why is he not flaming on? Flame on. Flame on. <laughs> what are you doing? Mm. You was able to flame on that bitch. You don't want to flame on in that bubble. She had him in a force field. If he flames on, she gets too hot. Bubble disappears. He suffocates. They didn't see the mind in the fucking fight between Namor and the comic. <laughs> I thought he was going to well, suffocate. he didn't. I thought he was going to suffocate in that bitch too. I was like, wait. He no, and come on. then he flamed on in the water because that makes sense. That's what I was gonna say. Like, yo, I was like, flame on. I was like, flame on. <laughs> We're gonna talk about that later, by the way. Um, <laughs> all right, so I'm sorry, keep going. This is great. Sue and Johnny are captured by the Atlanteans. Of course. Um, Reed and things show up uh, in their plane sub Fantastic Car thing. That is which I don't know where the hell they find that. But sure, every every damn vi- it, well, it's the Fantastic Car, but uh, then it can also become a sub. Sub. I, that's what I said. Like, oh, it's, it's, it's like its own uh, 007 thing. It's like a little. It does everything. It can fly. It, 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 all. Let's go. Um, and I cannot get too mad about the, the fact that their vehicle does this because Batman also has one vehicle that turns into everything. Yep. So I, everything. I just, I'm just saying. It turns into an armor piercing gun, uh, it, piercing round. Uh, it does happen. Yeah. In comics. Because, yes, it does. Uh, fuck rules. Uh, so <laughs> hey yo, he's a real good fuck rules. All right. They, they fend off some sea monsters of on their course. way. Sue uh, Sue almost has Namor talked down. But then the thing and Reed bust through the Coming wall. Coming in like gangsters. Hey, what's um, good? Might let me here. Hello. And they start a fight. Oh, yeah, it's a fight. 100%. Um, fight. Namor wins, but as a couple Fantastic Four are about to drown, Namor drains all the water out to save them. Um, Namor then meets privately with Sue, and when no, she comes course. out, she says she will stay as an ambassador. Reed's basically like, okay. I didn't like that. I was, uh, well, he's setting him up. Yeah, I know it's a setup. At first, I, was, I didn't um, like that. I was like, Sue, I was like, Reed, what are you doing? You turned to a bitch again. But as they well, go to tell Namor, Reed's like, not going to happen. Right. Uh, Reed's ready to fight. Yes, this is the Reed I want to see. The Reed that's like, yo, um, I'm ready to start fighting everybody. A, a huge fight breaks out, and Damn again, straight. we get a fantastic scene of Thing punching the shit, shit. out of Namor. Namor. He did it to Clear. Doom. Clear. Now he's done it to N- fucking Namor. Namor. Clearly. And it was fantastic. And it was like not even like a like a like it was like a no hold back punch. Like I thought like he broke his and, jaw. And then my favorite thing happens. Namor starts to somewhat get the upper hand, and Sue loses her shit. Now she yeah, because when she loses her shit, that's when you get that. Uh, you start Super to realize Doctor Doom how powerful Sue really yeah, is. Yeah, no, no, she she yeah she fucked Namor up right. and was basically like, look. Either you stop the bullshit, or you die. Or I'm dropping this entire building down on all your fucking people. Yeah, that that's it. That was it. In- I was like, yo, please do that. I know it's a kids show, but <laughs> at which point, at which point, Namor goes, you might be right. <laughs> what? I would have just went. Okay. Namor just yeah. got bitched. I was like, yeah, like just drop it, just drop it on fuck him. I mean, he'd be left alone. He'd be in that scene just. I have no people. Yeah, because she dropped that shit, bitch. How do you feel, bitch? She dropped it on your ass. She said, fuck, so, me, fuck your whole clan. Uh, Namor calls off all of the Yeah, you call assault, off. And the episode ends. Dude, Sue is my MVP for life. Yeah, Sue became MVP. No, I did give this episode a minute. Actually, I'll give it to Reed, because for me, Reed... I mean, I know it's a sub, because at first, he got me. I swear to God, he got me. I was like, 
This man's about to turn to one through issues one through four. But then he came six through ten and said, you know what? Mm, everybody getting lit. And then here come fucking thing like about to do the most superhero landing. Ah! Like, oh my gosh. We're just. They are so OP. Like, I- Here's what makes me mad, okay? If you guys have been caught following our Comic Corner <laughs> podcast. Thing has been the most worthless member of and the entire bitch. Fantastic Four. Everyone and he hates else, him. They hate, he hates all three of them. Well, not really. Sue he wants to bang him, but that's not the point. <laughs> right. He wants to bang Sue, so he hates Reed. Right. And, and then, then him and him, well, him and Johnny actually have a love for each other. That's right. Weird. Yeah, I think they kind they of get on each like, other's nerves. Right. And they start throwing fireballs, and he starts. I mean, like, okay, to find nerves because they're trying to throw fireballs, and he's like trying to punch him like, in the plate. But. But like, dude, thing is, in terms of like, he's all he's he never. He did one thing with the submarine, and that was pretty much it. That was the last thing that he in, ever did. Well, in the comics, the only time he's actually been worth a damn, right, is when him and Hulk went at it, right. And even well, then, worth, yeah. it was just pretty much a dead on even match. And really, Hulk, I, I mean, and you could debate that Hulk actually had the upper hand, but that's not the point. But as far as everybody having like a huge redeeming moment where they just go out and fuck shit up, Thing's the only one that really hasn't had one in the. And everybody's yet. doing teamwork shit. I and like what makes that. me mad is growing up, he was the only member of the Fantastic Four I even liked, just because right. he looked cool. I was like, he's a big rock dude. Right. Fuck some shit up. Right. Because in all the cartoons that at least I grew up watching, that he showed up and he fucked shit up. That's because that's what he's supposed to do. Like that, he's supposed to be. And there in this fuck. one, he fucks shit, shit up. up. He's supposed. That's what he does. Hulk. Thing smash. All right, let's do. It. Like, go to a damn table. Like, let's throw. Hey, I thought. Hey, yo, I thought Namor was about to dive with Thing punch him, and I thought he was gonna finish him right. off. Just curve stop the shit out of him. But yeah, I give it a nine. Also, it was just you know, I, I like it, man. This I like these episodes. I like Fantastic. I like the whole series so far. Fantastic Four. They're all working together. That's something you haven't really kind of seen right. in the comics. Oh, you see it in the comics, but not awfully. Usually they're like. Man, I don't know if we should do this. Pick her back and forth. Pick her back. And then they do it throughout the whole entire issue. And then finally, though, try to... It's like a Hail Mary throw. It's like, no. We gotta we gotta come up with a plan here, guys. Like, especially when you deal with somebody who just controls water. So, right. and has a whole plan. But, uh, yeah, I give it a 9 out of 10, though. So. All right. Episode 11 is called Impossible. This is your least favorite. No, I'm just kidding. It actually is. I know it is. So far. <laughs> um... Which is funny because I this this is using a character that I gave MVP in the comics. Right, Impossible Man. That's what I said. Really, I enjoyed it. I know you probably gonna have gripe over, it, but I, I enjoyed it. It was cool. Um. All right. So our male here, our male heroes are in uh, in a space simulation. Mm-hmm. Um. And at which point he realizes Reed realizes that his space probe is damaged. So he mm-hmm. brings it back to Earth. When it returns, it has a green version, a copy of it with it, which turns into Impossible Man. Yeah. I like that little formation too. He's like, "Hey, I'm." He just comes out like, "I'm Impossible Man." Hello. Right. Impossible Man bounces around acting nuts. Yep, like he always did. That's, that's normal. Reed can't quite figure him out, of but not. Impossible Man is also trying to figure out humanity. Right. Uh, Reed is super worried that if he finds the city and gets upset, that he'll fuck some things up. Um, yeah. However, he spends more time fucking up everyone else's good time while they're trying to keep, like, they're all trying to enjoy themselves, right. and he just goes around fucking with people. I think, like, one of them was reading a book, and he just fucking with him. <laughs> he turned into the book? He turned into the book! It's like, hey, play hey, with me! Yo. Hey, yo, that's me. <laughs> that's, everybody doing peace, like, what's good, people? I'm here, hello. He picks a fight with Thing. Of course. And the fight spills outside again, through the window, down to the fucking... Hey, but that's thing. Like, hey, that's the now, thing, though, bro. I will say what makes this funny is when Thing lands, Thing gets up. He's like, I have got to convince Reed to turn all these streets into rubber because this is starting to hurt. Right. So he makes the reference to it happening with Hulk as well, which was pretty cool. Right. Because he, he threw, what was like a second built, like a second story, was, was like second story, yeah, second story, right? No, dude, they're up in the, like, oh, that's right. top the floors. Top floor because of the tower. And it's just crazy, though, because like, he's like, <laughs> And Apostle um, Man's like, are we fighting? Right. <laughs> is, this, is this a fight? Like that's why I said impossible. Man. I was like, I have his power. He's like, oh, this is fun. Like, th- right? <laughs> he finds it enjoyable. Uh, like, at which point, right. Impossible Man wants to explore. Oh yeah, he explores. Oh, you threw me on the city now. Uh, upon trying to capture Impossible Man, uh, Impossible Man realizes humans don't have the ability to change. Nope. So he signals for his entire race to come visit, which, which is he um a bunch more. I was like that in the comics. Him. I thought like he was trying to bring an race in there. So mm-hmm. yeah. Because they can't change. They say, oh, I can, I can bring other people that can change into these people. Right. Uh, at which point, Reed takes Thing back to the lab, and Torch and Sue are supposed to distract him. They fail. 
Of he course. transforms into a T Rex and then starts to climb up the side of the Baxter building. Hey. He goes in through the window, at which point Reed tries to trick him into thinking his ability to transform is gone. It does not work. Right. Um, so they now decide to basically ignore him. Yeah, no matter, that's it. No matter what he does or how annoying he is, Impossible Man finally leaves because he gets extremely bored. Bored. Which is similar to the comics, except I love the comics version of this because in the comics they convinced everyone in the city right. to Because he was everywhere. Remember that they were... Which they, I know they he was like going around eating people's food. Could, could they show? No, they can't show shooting, could they? Or could they? Because basically in the they comic, were, no. no. I was, I was just saying or in the, the show, the no. show, no, because because they were shooting him, but the bullets weren't hitting them because he had like the, he had like a glass thing, so it was like ah, I'm just having like he was literally like a kid having fun and trying to bring people down, but then like I said, Reed told everybody in town just to like turn their backs on him, and then and that's what caused him to leave because he took over the TV station right. or like a wrestling match or something. Like he took over, like, he was there. So. so Impossible leaves yeah, because leaves. of how boring every everyone is, and mm-hmm. he basically tells his people to go back home. This planet's not worth visiting. Um, on his way out, though, he does tell Reed he hopes their planet gets eaten, which is a reference to Galactus. So I'm super stoked to see if they go that route in this show. Right. Um, no, I was more... Now, that, that's when... That, I did get a gripe about that. I said, well, we're never going to fucking... I mean, we might see it, but if not, we're never going to really fucking know. Right. <laughs> uh, and then, actually, so I didn't write this down, but the episode actually does end with... Um, Impossible man hitting up Reed consistently. Can I come back? Can I come back? Can I come back? Can I please, please, please? Like SpongeBob. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, so I gave this episode a six. Yeah, I gave it five. Reason being, they made Impossible Man way more annoying. Annoying. Than he was in the comics. I mean, he was already annoying in the comics, but it right. was too an entertaining he aspect. He turned him into a book. Of the- but this one was just... Hey, but he turned into a book, though. I was like, yo, hey, yo, what? I was just over it about halfway yeah, through. Yeah, that episode, you get over it after a while. So he's like, yeah, yeah. Um, I like the ignoring part. That was cool. Because right. that's what that's what he was, that was supposed to do, is, which is common sense. Just, if he's annoying, don't pay no mind to his ass. Fuck right. it. So. All right, episode 12 is called Bait and Switch. Hey. Uh, like this story I'm just kidding <laughs> Reed is working on trying to control the cosmic energy that changed them in hopes to make Ben himself again um, he's testing it on broccoli and the broccoli ends up exploding uh, there's an overload and it causes Johnny and Sue to switch their powers and Reed and Ben to switch their powers hey. uh, now for the rest of the episode this is something that I do not mention uh, I, I, I do not bring up in the rest of this outline for the rest of the episode Reed does constantly make references to trying to get um, Sue and Johnny to switch their powers back, but he leaves it at that. Um, and I knew that this is where they were going. He was willing to stay as the thing so that uh, Ben, who had Reed's powers, uh, stayed human because Ben hated being the thing. Um, everyone else loved being superheroes. Ben just didn't want to be an ugly rock monster. Right, an ugly rock monster. Because ultimately, it was Reed's fault for going up into that, that spaceship, right. though, so... Which that's that's what a leader does. That's a sacrifice. Reed is showing more and more that that damn okay he is that dude. Like he's he's willing to say I'm willing to stay the monster in order for you to stay human. So, right, right. Yeah. Um, so everyone starts to kind of freak out. Right, of course. Um, Ben is thrilled though because obviously he's able he's to human. be himself again. And we actually find out Doom is behind all of this. Of course, he's yeah. the one that kind of fucked everything up. Um, Reed finds another energy surge and our heroes go to try to stop it but are having a hard time adjusting to their new powers uh, Reed figures out that this energy is the opposite of the power gauntlet right. um, at which point that orb disappears and goes to another part of the city but they also realize Doom is trying to bring something through these portals Right. Um, Doom gives the go ahead for his Doom boss to kill the Fantastic Four right. the Doom bots show up and end up getting wrecked of course, pretty really, easily. really convenient um, really because the Doom bots are specially aimed at specific heroes, but since all their powers have been switched, they're using the wrong things to stop the heroes. Right. Um, which causes them to get fucked up. And I mean destroyed. Um, everyone ends up going inside of the energy orb. Uh, Thing also rushes in to help because, or, or by Thing, I mean. Uh, Reed. No, no uh, Ben. Ben, who He's has Fantastic right. Four, who has Mr. Fantastic. Which is pretty powers. cool seeing Ben doing that shit. That's ben, pretty cool. Ben rushes in and he's like, "Look, you guys can't do this on your own. I need to be here to help." He's like, "I know what this means." He's like, "But we're a team." Ah, oh, yes. Um. Damn, we never. Got... <laughs> Damn. They, 
You need to swap with that uh, that thing. <laughs> in the right. comics. They they overload it. Right. Um, they yeah. all get their powers. They all get their powers back, back. And Doom ends up with the episode not being happy. I gave that. Um, an, I, I gave it an eight. A nine, almost ten, bro. Because they they became a unit, man. One of my favorite things to see was both Reed and Ben. Reed steps up in ways he's been doing it in the comics. Yeah, now. But Ben steps up in a way we have we yet have to see. We've never seen. And that, damn. And, and, damn. That, that's interesting. I Yo, uh, yeah, I felt that. I was like, we are a team. I was like, hold up. <laughs> Did you lose your whole entire oh, yeah. mind? Damn. Next episode, we'll <laughs> lead. Like, what happened? He's like, he said, we a team. We a team. Did you change with the hold up? Somebody changed the thing. Well, and, but if you remember, one of the things that went with their power switching too is their mentalities were kind of switched a little bit too. Right. Um, now Reed kept the leadership part of him. Right. But some of that leadership went into thing. Right. But Ben, I'm, I'm not well, because ben. there were even parts where Sue and Johnny, Sue was cracking jokes. Right. And enjoying it where she normally does it, and when Johnny would crack a joke, he would laugh and be like, "Oh, now I feel bad." So he was kind of taking on Sue's personality. It was it was a weird mix of things happening. But the thing is though, even like before the change, like Ben or thing is like it's like he changed completely. Like they changed his whole character. It's like this is not the Ben that we see in the comics. What the fuck, bro? This is the right. Ben that been wanna fight everybody and then get with Sue and then get with the blind chick. Right. <laughs> um, alright, so episode thirteen is called Revenge of the Scrolls. Which yeah. I thought it was funny that I now, before I even looked at what the episodes were, I told Ralph, I was like, hey, we're going to do 13 episodes. Seven. Um, well, that's what well, 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 up to episode, Up to yeah. episode 13. I said, we're going to do seven episodes yeah. this week. We'll do six next week and then seven the week after. Right. We actually end on another scroll episode, which is what we ended on last week, which I thought was a nice little uh, right. mixture. Nice. All right. That's a, that's a nice little cutoff. I like that. Episode 13, Revenge of the Scrolls. We start off with Super Skull training with his new powers with Ronan overwatching. The and fan- I like that, too. Like, like That's a continuation literally from... Last week. Hey, what the hell? Right. <laughs> the Fantastic Four, meanwhile, are holding a fan event where their winner will be a fifth member of the Fantastic Four for a day. Hey. They see a leprechaun in the crowd. Reed realizes it's a scroll. Um, so Reed picks a winner at random just to end the event because right. I know that there's some shit about to go down. Um, and our heroes and the winner run into an elevator. Uh, the elevator of the Baxter Building. Which, by the way, uh, this fan that won is the dweebiest goddamn fan you could oh, have yeah, asked for. Oh, yeah, he was nerd. I mean, but, but I can't blame him though. I mean, I get what you're saying. Like, he, I mean, would you? No, they gave him. They gave him the glasses. Right. The nasally. Right. Oh yeah, you guys. Right, right. Like, like he would that, snort. That, that, mm. Like yeah, I, I'm part of the Fantastic Four. I mean, I get it, but I, I, it's like seeing Spider Man. Like you get to train with Spider Man for a day as I'm about to fight Galactus. Right. <laughs> like I get to fight with Spider Man and he gets killed in three days. So goddamn. <laughs> He didn't make it. He didn't make it. So the scrolls show up on the roof of the Baxter Building, of and our heroes confront Super Scroll. Our heroes are outmatched, and everyone gets captured. Um, everyone except for Thing, who Scroll punched across the city, and he ended up in the water. Right. Um, Ronan shows up to confront Johnny Storm, who, where, where they have him captured at. Um, and then Mister Fantastic makes the rest of the scrolls wonder why they all didn't get powers and only Super Scroll did. Um, Ronan fights a powerless Johnny because he's got a power dampling collar on. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, he, um, got, he got a power a power collar on. Right. Uh, Thing then finally shows up, saves the dweeb, Reed and Sue, and at this point the dweeb is freaking the fuck out. Right. At first he thinks it's all fake. Right. Um, and, and it's just a nice elaborate hoax that they got everyone set up. But he's when, like, this is so fake, and then, and then little, Reed, shit got real. Reed is finally like, no, no, no. This is real. For real. <laughs> And that's like, when we the, could die here. You, hey, I would if he had said that. Like, actually, like pointed out, like you about to die. I'm like, yo, um, I gotta go. Uh, I, I think I hear my mommy calling me. Like, yeah, you need to go, bro. Like, go, 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 go faster. Put your legs on faster, faster, faster. <laughs> now, thing shows up, saves the 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 three that aren't with Johnny. Right. Um, Johnny breaks, ends up getting his collar broken off right. by dodging uh, Ronan just enough for it to hit his collar. And it breaks it off. He was trying, like, Ronan was trying to kill. Yeah. He was trying to uh, play Tyler Flawless victory. Ronan wins. <laughs> and they all they all end up outside. Right. At which point, our heroes actually start to overpower Super Scroll. Of course. Um, when they realize 
th they point out that a Kree and a Skrull have teamed up, at which point the Skrulls start to no longer trust Super Skrull because they're like, why are you working with this Kree? Right, because that's in comic books, that's everywhere. That's, um, that was even in Loki. Like, Kree and Skrulls never worked with each other. Like, they never did like each other. Those are the Earth's Mightiest Heroes. They didn't like each other. At which point, Reed, being the only smart person in Marvel history... Of course. Puts two and two together because nobody else can, Doris. Really gonna go there with that, man. You'll go there with Doris. I, I can go there with more people, too. I know you can. Um, Doris. Doris. Um, Jane Foster. Jane Foster. Oh, I wonder why I never see these two guys this in the same, the same place. Room. Shut the fuck up. You're not that stupid. Uh, Pepper. Pe I gotta Pepper Potts. Pepper too. Happy oh Hogan. God. And Happy Hogan. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I love these characters in MCU, but Pepper, you gotta... Yeah. He smiles when he sees me like, bitch, I gotta go. Like, bye. Like, oh, why are you leaving? I gotta go save some people. <laughs> and then here's my other problem. How have none of you figured out who the secret identities of uh, Giant Man and Wasp are? Here's why. This was bugging me. Here's why. Okay? Giant Man 100% understand he's got a mask on. You're never gonna see him with the mask off. Right. Wasp does not. Right. So she has had plenty of times... Right. Where she's Talk in people and regular normal size talking to people, you see her face, and you're telling me that when she actually takes the costume off, you don't recognize. All right, fucking Clark Kent. <laughs> that's not even Clark Kent. That's just people being stupid. That's my point. No, 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 What's Clark think... Kent's fucking thing where he hides his? Oh, he puts the on a pair of glasses, vocals, and all of a sudden nobody then, knows then, what then, he looks like. Our coworker said he got to sound very timid, like you know, he don't sound like like I am Superman. He got to sound. I... Hey, hi, like, here's your stuff. Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, you are six... Like, you, I think you even said, you six foot two, almost, like, 250 pounds, and nobody don't know... Okay, fine, all right. You walk around looking like a brick house? Like a brick house. Like, you go through anybody? Fuck out of here. All right, <laughs> so... <laughs> That's what the MCU did get, right? They did kind of gave her uh, a mask. I'm like, yes, because, uh, that's stupid. <laughs> right. All right. So the dweeb ends up picking up Ronan's yep. staff. Yep, um, yes, he did. And ends up saving our heroes. Which is, we because, knew that was coming. We right. knew that was coming. Come on now. Everybody, if you, we, knew, we knew that was coming. Like, and he's like, every, he's like, yep. I, I practiced with one of these. Yep. He's like, I had a model of it and I practiced with yep. it. I knew how to know. Which I'm like, bro, I here. thought maybe, you know what I thought was going to happen? I feel like I was watching fucking Galaxy Quest all the time. That and I thought he was going to blast himself. <laughs> that would have been funny. It ricocheted. Oh my God. Like, um, he ricocheted out the camera. Ronan takes off. Oh, yeah. And then the Skrulls again question Super Skrull, but all the Skrulls end up leaving in the process. They're right. like, you know what? Let's get the fuck out of here. Right. They didn't. Well, they questioned him. They said, we, we're. Because they, they, they're relying on this person, and this person working with that. So it was kind of like, what is happening? You know what? We don't got time to process this. We got to go. I gave this episode an 8 out of 10. I did I, think I, it was pretty good. I gave, I gave it a 9. I gave it a 9. So far, um, nine. it's not too I, good. Stuff, but I gave it a 9 so far. I, I, my, with the dweeb guy. I was thankful that they didn't pull Mr. Impossible or Impossible Man and he didn't talk the entire episode. He talked But it was cliche like he, he knew it was gonna happen. He talked and when he did it made things funny. Right. Impossible Man talked and I wanted to unsubscribe from life. Um <laughs> I just like bye. Just like, I, I just good episode. A solid way to end the episodes for the week. I was actually thrilled that I had decided that we were going to do seven episodes this week. I, was yeah, like, well, good, with, I mean, I mean both of the episodes point. were really cool. Even if you just ended with the teamwork thing, which I like. Like I said, the last episode was cool with the switching bodies. But it with the scroll, scroll. Like, hey, that's a segue. That's, a, that's not that's not like thing. Like, like you're trying to perk. It's like, you know what? It's a continuation. It's like part two. Let's go. <laughs> um, so what's really cool. So next week, mm -hmm. we are going to cover episodes uh, 14, through 14 through 19. 19. It wasn't 20, but 19. Um, and then the week after that, it should be 20 through 26. Right. Um, again, extremely solid week. I, I was so far. Absolutely, this has been a solid show. It's been a solid it's, show. I, solid I've, got, going fucking with it, I've got a few complaints. But that's just, that's like what you get from any show, really, to be honest. Right. Um, That's good, at least. <laughs> I'm hoping that the show doesn't nosedive. At this point, we are... You think they already played all their cards? We are like three episodes away from when the show got fully canceled off of Cartoon Network. Oh, shit. Yeah, we are. Well, we're going to find out next... Hey, we're going to find out next week. If you, I hope it is the viewership. If it is the fact that it was a shitty-ass episode or, or any of these episodes were shit, I'm like, well... 
Uh, there you go. <laughs> no, I honestly, again, I do think. But I think it's not. Yeah. I, I don't. They've been extremely consistent so far. I don't right. see them absolutely nose diving. I could be wrong. Do not get me wrong. Oh no, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, could be wrong. I'm not gonna question it. Yeah, I got you. Um, but I do think it was just more of people didn't really know who the Fantastic Four were to the extent that they cared to have a show based Sorry, on. Sorry, like who the hell knows who Wizard Man is and the Puppet Master and all these people? Oh, and get, or Impossible Man. We do. Yeah, we do because we read through them bitches. Let's go. <laughs> but um, who that? Like, who the hell is Impossible Man? I'm like, and you gotta remember. I was like, what, second or third grade when this shit, or seven or six or seven when this shit popped up? I'm like, I don't know who these comic book characters are. I don't know Dr. Doom. And then you took Dr. Doom, and I'm like, who are these people? <laughs> Dead ass. Like, who I knew who the thing was. That, I, I loved things. Right. But that was it. That, that's where it stopped. Yeah, I, I thought Johnny Storm's powers were cool, right. but I didn't know enough about his character as a kid to care. And I he always, was I was one of those people that always thought Reed and Sue were dumb. There's no need for that. Ooh, yeah, you could stretch. Ooh, you could turn invisible. Cool. Yeah, don't get now, shit. Now, as know. we're reading the comics and seeing what the extent of their powers really are, and we actually see the leadership that Reed is starting to portray, uh, both in the show and in the comics, I'm enjoying him more as a character, right. obviously. And if anything, he's turning into the Reed that we see, we see in these in the more in these earlier comics that we're reading now, compared to what we were watching in the first what ten to twenty issues, or at least fifteen issues, I guess. Yeah. Right. So. So it's, it it's been a fun ride, and honestly, the Fantastic Four as a whole are becoming some of my favorite comics to read. Yep. Anytime a Fantastic Four issue comes up, I'm you like, know it's going, sweet, yeah, Fantastic you know, you know Four, it's gonna be let's good. go. You know it's going to be a good one, like a good show to watch. Where, whereas good, if, to you know, we get Strange Tales, I'm like, well, this one's going to suck. Sorry, Johnny. You're just not that interesting. Well, like this one, we get to it like, oh my God, here we go. <laughs> hey, you already know. You know I'm, hey, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I know what I'm about to say. I, I, we'll say for the comic, but you already know where we're going with this way. Right. <laughs> um, it has yeah. not changed, bro. It has not changed at all. So, next week, six more episodes are going to be covered, and then we'll only have seven episodes left. We're also getting close to Moon Knight coming. Yeah. That's it. Um, Starting, what, Tuesday? It's be March be 1st. Tuesday, Tuesday's March 1st, so yeah, we just have 29 days until Moon Knight drops, so it's yep. going to be great. Yeah. Um, And then, let's see, Moon Knight. And then, uh, I still don't know what Morbius is. I guess the next Morbius one is, is we'll, we'll have one month to do whatever. Then, May 7th, around my, around my birthday, we will literally be in Doctor Strange 2. I already got somebody that's buying my ticket for that movie. Damn! Already? Yep. Damn. See, can he buy my ticket? Do good things to people, and they do good things back. Hey, I'm can he buy my ticket? I'm a good person. <laughs> no. Damn, he laughed. No. <laughs> you see that Ralph, laugh? Hey. Ralph is a good person. I, I, I like to give him shit a lot of times. I know he does, that son of a bitch. He may have terrible taste in horror movies, but as a whole, he is a great person. No, I, I just like to argue with him for nothing. Um, it's, it's a way to break from conversation from co-workers. Right. <laughs> Can't talk to his ass during the week, so fuck it. Um, but yeah, so remember, later this week, you get another comic corner. Uh, there were actually a few good comics, a couple kind of just boring ones. And then we got one that's just, um, eh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which you're going to want to come into that because we also get the introduction of Black Widow as a character, which is actually pretty I good. Like, I like that. That one might be the only one. I mean, I know there's a couple, but that one I'm, I'm happy, the most happy for. The least happy one, of course, is going to be The Strange Tales, and we'll get to that later. Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, so join us later. And we ended with that. Stranger Tales. What the? F- and anyway. remember, next week, again, next se- next six episodes, I messed up seven, next six episodes mm-hmm. of... Fantastic Four World's Greatest Heroes. Yeah. We love you guys. We'll see you all. Talk to you guys next week. Thanks to everybody that tunes yeah. in. Um, Will is the only one I know that is a consistent watcher. I think Iz also watches on occasion. Oh, okay. And um, I think Rev sometimes watches too. Rev might come in. So all, hi to all those guys, and we Hello. love you all. Um, and to those of you that listen on Spotify, you are fantastic. And we will see you next week. Eck, or later this week, if you come to our comic corner. Right. Eck, Celsius. Thanks for making us part of your day. Bye-bye. <laughs>